Hey, Mar. Andrew. What's going on? You Please get, uh, keep that in. You together? <laughs> yeah, I did. Want to talk about it? Yeah, I do. All right, ready? Right. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Happy Never After Pod. <laughs> I know, but that's why it's funny. <laughs> oh, welcome to the Happy Never After podcast, the Just Us edition. Just Us. <laughs> Just Us lonely, tragic People. <laughs> victims of divorce. Victims of divorce. <laughs> How you doing, Andrew T. Collins? Just a couple kids of victims. Just, just a couple of kids. We're just a couple victims. Just, just a couple. We tried. We tried. We really tried to live. We're just trying We're just every day. <laughs> every day we try so hard. <laughs> how do you cry? How how loud do you get? You've heard me cry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had like a Something like left. <laughs> I haven't had one of those like Fuck, man. Fuck. Sometimes I do that. I mean, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> you didn't cry at your therapist? Huh? Did you cry at your therapist? No. There was a moment where I felt a little teary eyed. I was like, don't be a little bitch. <laughs> Like, fuck, it. <laughs> fuck, dude, why the fuck did he cheat, though? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I cried a little bit, but I think it was I was just sleep deprived because I was like, I just want someone that holds my hand. I just need someone that holds my hand. Fucking hold my hand. <laughs> and then I was like, what am I talking about? Uh, and then you're like drooling and you're, <laughs> and you're trying to get air. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you cry as a kid and you have snot out of your nose and, and cry in the mirror? I would never cry in the mirror. Oh. It was so ugly. I remember, like, I would, I would talk to God. Like that was the only time I talked to God. Sometimes in the mirror, I'd be like, "Just, dude, come on, God, just fucking let my parents just get along. Come on, dude. Aww. Come on, God. Just fucking just let them help. Fucking stop being a fucking dick, God." <laughs> yeah, I used to pray. That was the only time I think I ever prayed. When you wanted your parents to be nice to each other? Yeah. I was just like, God, why the fuck do they keep doing this, God? <laughs> Aw, you're going to get so much puss after this show. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, God, I was like, it's one thing to give me a 12-inch dick, but it's, a, <laughs> it's another thing to, to make. I, and I know you think that makes up for everything, but it doesn't. I mean, I just got this huge fucking hog. And <laughs> the I, ability to make money. <laughs> I'm a good provider, so thank you for that, I'm God. such a good provider, and I just make women come so hard. <laughs> but God, can you just have my parents just be closer together? God, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, is that you? Is that you? Yes. God, can you help my parents, please? We did. We sent Sandy. What's her, what's her name? <laughs> Hurricane Sandy. No. What's your stepmom's name? Oh, I don't know. Janine? Jeannie. <laughs> you don't even know. No, it's Jeannie. I know her name. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know how to spell it, though, until like two years ago. And they were together for like 20 years. It's like, is it two N's or nine G's? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jeannie. <laughs> Jeannie's oh, got a gun. God. What did her daddy do? Man, um, got a gun. So I text the chemist a bunch <laughs> after you left, yeah, and like a ton. And he hasn't run back? Yeah, a couple times, but really lame. <laughs> I think I'm trying to sabotage it. Why? Um, because I don't I don't understand what's happening. Your feelings? And I don't know why I'm on your table. Get off my table. Get the <laughs> fuck off my table. Let's <laughs> hold our hands for this one. <laughs> no, no, we haven't even ever touched. Like it. Like it. <laughs> 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 so tell me what happened. I can't, like, oh. Let's interlock, interlock, yeah. interlock. <laughs> I have to touch your gun. Sorry. <laughs> oh God. 
Oh, I'm going to vomit. Oh, I'm so oh, hard. God. Oh, I mean, I'm going to vomit, too. I'm going to vomit, too. I'm going to vomit, too. Ugh. I did ask him if he'd hold my hand, and he said no. Really? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Why did he say no? He didn't hold like, your hand? I was like, why don't you hold hands? And he goes, I hate it. And I was like, well, I just really like it, and sometimes I even do it with my girlfriends. And he goes, nope. And I was like, okay. Right. Man, look at you showing your vulnerability in this. Game. I know. Fuck you, bitch. I know. Yeah, it's fucked you up. You really slammed me down. How do you like holding your hands? Do you like cuffing, or do you like? I don't like because I have my little Trump hands. <laughs> so I feel, I feel like, I feel like the girl will be like, I'll hold the hands. She'll be like, tiny dick. <laughs> you know, right when she grabs my hand, like I gotta fuck her first and show her before I grab her hand because, like, in my mind, I'm like, oh no. She's I like, don't care either way. I'm so here, show way. me. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to hold my hand? Because I think it's funny. Because I, okay. I, I don't like it either. I just feel like I'm overcoming something as well. Well, I feel like if they hold my hand, I don't have to talk to anyone. And I'm protected. That's my move. Mm -hmm. Like they they reach back and grab for you and you're like, cool. I don't have to pay attention. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you could just be wander. led around yeah. like a leash. Yeah. So Why don't like you put a, a leash on me and a Muslim <laughs> and a fucking... Yeah, let's just do the leash Put instead. a ball in my mouth. Just so I could just not think. Yeah, no, I get it. Like holding hands. I it's like funny. it a lot. Remember the first, like the first time you ever like held like that was a big thing is holding hands. Yeah, I remember staring at my first husband's hands a lot when he would drive. I just felt really safe. Yeah. Yeah, and just the way he would like hand like flip his pen around when he would talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. I was like, so there's something about hands for me. Interesting. I know it's really weird. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I have terrible fingernails, but if a girl's like, like. Fingers are like real fucked up. It kind of turns me off a little bit. <laughs> when does a girl's fingers ever fucked no, up? No, sometimes girls will they'll scratch their thumb here. Oh, and they'll like yeah, bleed do and they'll like it'll be like whatever. But I mean, I shouldn't be judging because I got your fingers are disgusting. They're not my best attribute. That is sure. one of my girlfriends that I bartended with. She was like, "Yeah, I got bar rot," and I was like, "Ugh." Bar rot? What is that? When you put your hand in the ice too much? Yeah, when you when you're around alcohol and and citrus and uh, water too much, your fingers start to decompose and you get bar rot. Mm. And I uh, got dick rot. <laughs> <Bar> <laughs> rot. I know. I can smell it from here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, God, dear God, I have a 12 inch dick. Uh, God, are you there? I know it's down to 11 yes. inches because it was bar yes. rot, a dick okay. rot. God, can you make my dick just only 10 and a half inches and then, <laughs> then my parents can get along better? It will make a difference. <laughs> God, please, ten and a half. That's it. That's all I want. Fuck you. <laughs> I love you too, God. Me too. <laughs> you love yourself. No, me too. Love you. Oh, thank you, God. <laughs> I know. Wasn't that big? Like really big of me to ask him. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I don't know why you do things someone sometimes like that. What do you mean? Like, I feel like you're just like testing him. Like, I don't know if it's like no, it's how much of really it. It's like, like, do you really? Yeah. It's like the one. <laughs> no, but you really and you really want it. All right. I real. That's like one of the things that I want. That's like on the list. Why Someone do you think it hand. shows a sign that he's into you and that he's not a, like ashamed of you in public? Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I've gone out with too many married men, and I need somebody that can like, yeah. publicly yeah. claim me. What's well, also a hold? You got to hold a married man's hand. Is he married still? Of no. the chemist? I don't know. No, he never was married. Right. Well, a married man wouldn't want to hold your hand. No, that's what I'm I saying. Also, yeah, you yeah. hold his hand, you feel the ring really turns you on in public. You <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> feel bad, though, if you've been divorced. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't wait to take the Lexapro and not care about anything. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't think I care now. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know. Freaking. So you text him. Why did you text him so many times then? Because he didn't text you back right away before. Um, I think because it felt too much like a, like it was very relationshipy. Like it was, and I feel like if I become a clingy person, then he will back off. Ugh. <laughs> Too fucking complicated. He's a psycho. Yeah. He's a fucking psycho. <laughs> Why did you sleep in his bedroom? Why did you have your own bedroom? Oh yeah, we can talk about that. I don't oh, understand yeah. that. Oh yeah, so um, <laughs> he, he has cats. 
Oh, that's from the allergy. Yeah. She's allergic, but I'm the allergic. cats. Yeah. Okay. Tell him that little fun number. The cats sleep in his room with where? him. Where? So the uh, cats. Uh, where? Sleep in his room. <laughs> About <laughs> really? His dick? No, I don't know. I don't know. What I saw him cuddling with the cat. Oh, and then on I was the bed? Like, no, no, on the couch. Oh. Uh, for a quick sec, and I was like, "That's cute." Not on the floor. <laughs> it's a fucking wimp. <laughs> but the best part, okay, uh-huh. so the nosy neighbors, uh-huh. the nosy neighbors text him about me yeah. leaving the door ajar, and they were like, "Yeah, well, we were just concerned because the, we saw the two little heads of the cats pop out," and I was like, "What the fuck?" And I got really pissed, and then my dog must have eaten some of the cat shit or something. He got really sick in the room at like seven in the morning on Sunday. So I got up in my room, in my guest room. <laughs> so I got up. Because you're a big girl. <laughs> I picked up the dog and I ran him downstairs. But I didn't bring pajamas because I was thinking it was going to be like Fuck Fest 2017. And it wasn't. And uh, so I, I just had like my, I had this crop top tank top on and uh, the only pair of underwear that I brought that I wore every day. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you really only brought one pair. How many underwear did you bring? Well, because I don't wear underwear during the day, I only wear it at night if yeah. I'm wearing pajamas. That is my pajamas. I, yeah, I don't know why I have to cover the puss at night. <laughs> that makes any sense. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> I keep it open during the day and I cover it up at night. I guess the smell. <laughs> 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 no, it's probably the smell. I don't think she smells. No, I oh, that was so much more creepier than what I said. So I don't think. So I take smells. the dog downstairs. I bet, and I, I bet you her pussy smells <laughs> fine. <laughs> I bet you. Hold my hand. I bet you that pussy smells Hold like my, rose. Shut up. Hold my I hope that hand. P- <laughs> I hope that pussy smells like Ew, rose. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so I take Frank to the backyard, and I'm just standing in the doorway watching him have diarrhea. And uh, and all of a sudden, the cat runs outside. Oh, shit. And there's no fenced-in backyard. So he and he's <sighs> pissed at my dog. So my dog... So I go, Benny, and I run out after the cat. Benny? <laughs> the dog, yeah, the dog, the door shuts behind me. <laughs> Frank starts running after me because he loves me. So then the cat keeps running away from Frank. Frank, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm running down the sidewalk in the middle of downtown Indianapolis. <laughs> Are you just, fucking kidding me? Just a crop top and underwear. Hot. <laughs> I finally, <laughs> Jesus. I finally get <laughs> Benny. Oh, yeah, keep going. <laughs> By the tail, because oh. I am great well, at handling. you to bend over for it? <laughs> I don't it's even hotter. Yeah. My, I hope my tampon string popped out. Yeah. Then- <laughs> so you both had tails. <laughs> so you both have little tails. Hold my hand. So yeah, so you get the cat. So I get the, I grab the cat by the tail and yank it back towards me because oh. I think that's how you handle cats. And then I pick it up and I'm just holding it way out yeah. in front. Yeah, because they're nails. <laughs> they're nails. I'm allergic. allergic. Mm. I've got. Oh yeah. I'm. A, it's like hissing at my dog. My dog's jumping at it and it's going. <laughs> and then the light changes and all these cars start coming mm. and then they start beeping and yeah, I just man. I just h- held the cat out and I just did a little curtsy. I was like. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I wish I got a picture of that. Oh that would have been the too. best picture. Uh, Were you in a thong? Uh, I was in a thong, uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> and then, I, then I got back to the door, and the door was almost all the way closed. Like, it was this, there was, like, just a sliver left open, but it was, like, I could feel that it was locked. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, fuck. And then I pushed in and went open. I was like, oh, thank you, God. Was he home? Yeah, where's the fucking yeah, chemist? He, he was in his room sleeping. Let me help you. Oh, where was he sleeping? sleeping? In his room. Where? In the front of the house. <laughs> Is there something that we're not getting the whole story about the bedrooms and shit? I just didn't want to stay by myself. I just don't like to sleep by myself, even though I don't. <laughs> what? I love the one thing that you're like nervous about. It's so funny to me. Someone, uh, someone in the house. No. No, really? Absolutely not. Interesting. <laughs> what? You guys are talking sign language. <laughs> I oh. think I think we learned from your relationships. I'd like to keep this relationship. You've talked about fucking every which way. With him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. With what him? was this? Yeah. I have? Yeah. On the pod? In the past. God wants <laughs> to know. <laughs> You've talked about fucking like a starfish. Oh, I yeah. did fuck him like a starfish. Yeah. 
So what's the problem? Yeah. What's the story? Nothing. I mean, now I just feel like the the. I fucked. We only fucked twice. Yeah, okay. You said you didn't fuck that much. I know, only twice. Yeah, so what's the point? I'm used to fucking way more than that in a weekend. Well, maybe that's why you texted him so much. Maybe if he fucked you so many times, you wouldn't be, uh, I don't know. Isn't that, like, wouldn't you, if you were going to go stay with somebody that you were fucking, wouldn't you fuck a lot? Not if they smelled like shit. I mean, I might have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did spend a whole day at, at, in 90 degrees at the Colts game. Yeah. Oh, that might be the problem. I know. Did you guys fuck after that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Did you shower before you fucked? No. Oh, man. Yeah. And fucking. I just finished my period right before I got oh. there, so it stunk. <laughs> and what did you eat? <laughs> Nothing, actually. Zero. Uh, I had some uh, Why don't you shower? Right afterwards? Yeah. Why? But didn't you know you smelled like shit? <laughs> I didn't smell like shit. I just smelled like shit. Bloody vagina. Yeah, that's almost smelling like shit. <laughs> smells like pennies. Who that cares? Is. Guys stink all the time. They stink. No, I get uh, it. We can smell. I don't. I yeah. blew him like three times just to see if I stunk. You blew him three times? Like, like I let him go in and then I went down and blew him just to see if I smelled. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I would taste it and I was like, not bad. Just oh my a little, god! A little zinky. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'd be fucking texting a, a woman if she did that to me, right? Wouldn't you, AC? No, you Plus wouldn't. I needed moisture. No, I think it's funny. I think it's just so funny that you're so worried about the smell of your pussy. The only way to get to your pussy is through his dick. <laughs> 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 that like it has nothing to do with him. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I went down. I blew yeah. him three times. Well, yeah. I kept blowing him because I kept. I was like. Because you anything. putting your own pussy in your face is a little weird. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I, I was dry and I needed moisture, so I was like, I like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not. So I just normally you have like pre cum. But you gave you, yourself a little sniffs down there. <laughs> yeah, I gave sniffs <laughs> and I lubed it up. I was like, yeah. if I spit all over it, then it'll yeah. be. And he was. <laughs> Oh no, God. he was like, he was like, just climb on. I was like, I want to, but you, it's like sandpaper in yeah. there. Is he big? <laughs> He's good. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's no uh, big dick, though. I mean, I don't want big dick. Yeah, I hear you. That wasn't fun. That was like, that was work. Mm -hmm. That was painful. It was not. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do everything with this size. You can go all positions. Yeah. Starfish especially. <laughs> it's my favorite. You can reverse cowgirl with it? I did. Nice. I know. Good for him. <laughs> I can't reverse cowgirl. I got to keep it tight. <laughs> I gotta grab it. Where are you going? <laughs> you can't stay in all. You can't go. Where are you going? Come on. Who are you fooling? <laughs> well, the thing is, I had to leave also. Like, I had, because Jessica had uh, surgery. My best friend had surgery on Monday. Mm -hmm. And she had to go in at 5 a.m. And she was like, You have to take me because my husband isn't going to be home. And so I had to drive all night oh my to God. take her. And uh, <laughs> while we were having sex, I was like, Ooh, that's a. Uh... Yeah. Wrap it up. Oh, uh, we did go raw. Of course. Wrap know, it up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Speaking of. Yeah. This you is did? the first time we haven't had used a condom. Did first he come time. inside you? No. And it doesn't matter if he does. Oh, What's that's right. Gonna I happen? Yeah. You. <laughs> yeah, luckily she can't yeah. have kids, so she yeah. could come all in her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I was thinking about, I was like, thank God he didn't come inside me because I have a long drive and that's a lot of leakage. Yeah, that's that true. stinks. And you already wore that one pair of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> a few times. <laughs> and your seats aren't really <laughs> they're, absorbent. Yeah, no. They're, it's just all bad. Cum doesn't work well with leather. Are your seats leathered? Yes, they're leather. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't work well. It just smears. <laughs> I learned that on the bus. I told you that story when I jerked off on the bus. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Not like fucking last week, but I fucking, when I was like 13. Three weeks ago. <laughs> 13. Yeah. I was on the bus. I was on the school bus, and the last stop was between Port St. Lucie and Stewart, and it was like probably like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And I was alone, except for the bus driver's eyes looking at me in the mirror. And they were so fucking green, so hot. And I was like, I got to jerk off. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't jerk off, because it's not like it was a, it wasn't like a, like a, like a greyhound. I was just jerking off in the seat and I just jerked off and I came and I was like fuck where am I going to put the cum and then I tried to smear it on the seat <laughs> but the seat is like the weird material remember the yeah. weird bus it's not it's like, like vinyl it's it was not. just like a fucking 
Oh my fuck! It looked like God. a hand, you know, like a finger oh. painting. <laughs> um, Anyways, yeah, and I just fucking yeah, it was pretty cool. That was pretty ballsy. I mean, yeah, that was yeah, for very perverted. It's definitely it's the so weirdest fucking, place I ever had sex. It's, a, <laughs> it's the most, one of the most perverted things I've ever heard. Yeah, in my entire life. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Weird. <laughs> Weird. I don't know. I don't know if I've masturbated in weird places. It's probably, I wonder if it's harder for women or men. Sometimes that. you have to masturbate. Your legs hurt. Do you what? ever get that? Where your legs hurt? So you just have to? No. What? What, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like you get, your legs, they just start to get like achy. Mm. And so if you masturbate, it just goes away. Well, I've no, yeah, I've had like mental or like physical ailments with that like go away through coming. Sure. <laughs> like name one. Huh? Name one. Um, Syphilis. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, no, I get it. Like, balls. <laughs> no, like your anxiety will be really high and like, I don't know, you're fucking, maybe your knee hurts and then you jerk off and your knee's better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't still know. Still have anxiety. <laughs> yeah, still horrible anxiety. <laughs> Did you take your dick out of your pants when you were 13 or you put your hands down your pants? That's I was wearing I mean. a dress. <laughs> no. no. Um, so you unzipped your pants? Yeah, I just two-fingered it right at that point in my life. <laughs> I just fucking, yeah, I just, yeah. Wow. I took my dick out of the zipper hole. Yeah. I guess I just That's when your fucking parents were getting divorced. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wonder why I was so fucking horny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember my, my journal. How many times a day, I just have to ask you, how many times a day were you jerking off? Back then? Yeah. No, I don't know. I was fucking the Jets for a while. I told you that story. Yeah. And <laughs> Jesus. I was like, yeah, I jerked off a lot. I don't know. I remember jerking off and you couldn't come. That was fun. Well, what when was the first time you orgasmed? <laughs> Um, sixteen. First orgasm was sixteen. Yeah, first time I touched myself, sixteen. What did you? How did you do it? Uh, well, I was looking at this college, <laughs> this college flyer that I was, and, I, and like two good-looking guys walking through the quad. No, it's just a no. It was a personal training flyer, and then I remember shoving it back in between the mattresses. Because I was supposed to be, become an engineer. And so I had all, like, these personal training schools. And this one in Hawaii I really wanted to go to. So I would keep that you in bad between. Girl. I know. <laughs> I was naughty. So I would keep that in between my mattresses. And then I was just laying there on my belly. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. And I think but it was, like, spring. But what made you think? Did you talk to someone about it before? Did someone tell you that they masturbated? Or were you just like? No. I just tried. No. My parents didn't help me with my period so you were on the couch. Oh you were on the couch when this happened. No, 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 I was on my bed. What was the first? No, 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 no. Let's go back to you fingering <laughs> okay. yourself hard. No, let's hold hands. <laughs> well, I no. So story. wait. So wait. Oh, so you went to the bed. So the this pamphlet is... didn't get you going. So why did you even bring up? I the... just remember the day. Like, oh, okay. So just, you're reading a. I was a laying with my journey. feet. I was laying with my feet towards the headboard. Okay. And my face was like hanging off the bed. And then I put my hands back by my, to like pull myself back up on the bed because I was tucking the, the flyer in between. And I was like, while I'm down here, I might as well touch myself. Oh, this was on the bed, not the couch. You said the couch. You said you oh, put it I in say, the cushions. No, no, it's in between the, the mattress. mattress. Oh, okay. It, like the. Okay, so you're in bed, you put the thing away, and then you and start then touching And then I started your... like scooching myself back. But my chin was like, I remember my chin was off the bed. So like my upper body was like basically falling So there's falling no off way the that bed. you could see what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. So you almost disconnected yourself from yeah, your... Yeah, and I just started own. playing with myself. Yeah. And how did that feel? Um, it was, it was fine. I didn't, I just, I immediately knew to hold, hold my breath. Is that oh, weird? Is that what you're supposed to do? No, I don't know. Oh. That's just what I do. <laughs> you say that like I knew to do something, but it's not. Well, you... I knew that that worked for me oh. immediately. So you you knew you, you wanted to be choked. You knew you like being I knew choked I right when I was away. sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm choking myself on the end of the bed <laughs> like this, and I knew I just knew. I just knew. That I just had a weird feeling. I, just knew. <laughs> I had a weird feeling. I was gonna be a little slut. I had a weird feeling. I just knew. So you're flicking your little fucking yeah. big old juicy bean. Yeah. For how 16 long? 16-year-old being, like, not even a minute. And you came in a minute? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how did, what did you do after? You must have, like... I napped. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm like a Did dude. you tell any of your girlfriends? No. I know my girlfriends oh were very prude. Very prude. You I never like hear the girl first you always hear guy I first time I jerked out. You don't hear women I mean actually you've heard women like rubbing their pussy on like a couch or something. Like weird and- Yeah, a lot of people talk about how um like the washing machine works, that didn't work for me. Or like the laying underneath the w- water that's running in the yeah. tub, that doesn't work for me yeah. either. I've tried everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, this doesn't work. Just my hand. Isn't it so funny when you like stop and you're like, my pussy's in my hand or my <laughs> dick's in my hand. Like, what is, what the fuck are we? Like, we're fucking animals. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's so close to you. Like, it's, if it wasn't, if it wasn't meant to be within reach, then, you know, like you weren't supposed to touch it. Like, if yeah, but sometimes I'm jerking off. I'm like, wait. Do I like a dick in my hand? <laughs> like, why do I? Why is this dick in my hand? Like, what is going on here? Like, I don't enjoy feeling my dick, but then I don't know, your brain just goes to some fucking weird place. It's crazy. Well, it's just our regular anatomy. What was like, the other story? You said the period. Oh, so things. I didn't get my period till I was nineteen. I had to take progesterone and have it like induced. So you could come before you got your period. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So you had pubic hair before your period? No, I didn't have any pubic hair. <laughs> People are like, w- where do you get wax? Oh, no, I don't. No, because most guys have to, can't come until they reach puberty. Mm-hmm. So I guess women... It's Ours is just a cervix that flutters. Yeah, I don't know. So when we orgasm, we suck in. Like, we the cervix flutters and it mm-hmm. sucks in your juices. Mm-hmm. You have to have juices. Coming out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Good so talk. what happened with the period? So you got your period at nineteen. I got my period late. Yep. Oh. So uh, you must have been a nervous wreck. Like why? at any moment, chill. no. Like in school, you thought maybe you could get your period at any moment. No, I was so cocky about it, and that was actually my first pickup line with Josh Goosen. <laughs> really? I I've loved never him. bled. Yeah, I was like, that's what you, told, was, you think that's a good pickup I line? <laughs> I never bleed, Josh. I was like, I was like, I don't have my period yet. <laughs> And like, like he was gonna just fuck me right there. <laughs> Maybe if you fuck my tight little pussy and break my little hymen, my little hymen, I'll finally bleed for the first time. <laughs> that's not what I was saying. I was saying I couldn't get pregnant. Is what I was saying. Well, that's the new line. Oh, yeah. That's oh. what I was. Well, it took him a while. Well, it was com- a journey with us. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying that's your line now. Oh yeah, now. Yeah, you bleed plenty. <laughs> yeah, now I bleed a lot. Yeah. What was your pickup line? I bleed so much. <laughs> <laughs> I like in like in an inordinate amount of blood <laughs> comes out of my dick. I so. am so embarrassed that I even said that. To this day, I think about it and I'm like, ah. Oh, it's God. so funny. I don't bleed, Josh. I don't. I haven't started bleeding yet. Oh, how old were you? Like 16, 17. Mm, I need to fuck you right then. <laughs> I worked with him at Montgomery Ward. <laughs> That's how you ended up fucking your first husband. Ugh. I only bled last week. Because you married at 19, so the first 20, time 20, you- yeah. 19, 20. Oh, my God. I know. So you lost, you, you went through puberty and then got married. Like I know, the I think, same few months. I think I was just going crazy. Yeah, it sounds like Yeah, it. I was just like, oh, I didn't just know how then, to huh? <laughs> handle all. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you, uh, so you never took psychiatry pills. You never took pills. I know, I know, no, mm. no. Because I took birth control to, like, after my period started to regulate it. Mm-hmm. And it made me Looney Tunes, which yeah. made me scared to take pills. Like, I couldn't control how I felt. I'd go from being happy to bawling to Mm. happy again. I was like, I can't. And I couldn't, like I felt normal on the inside. And then there was like this whole outside brain that was in control. Mm -hmm. It was really weird. I hated it. I was like, no, I don't want to So birth control can make you crazier. Yeah. But also it helps women, I thought, sometimes with their moods. Yeah, I think if you can handle it. Yeah. But I just couldn't. And I had, like, the lowest. They kept putting me on lower doses. <laughs> it was still like, please just stop. Yeah. I can't do it. Also, it's like, I can't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I know it. I just have a feeling. It just sounds like a feeling. I had a feeling like I like to be choked and that I can never have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got a call back for this show, and they want to freeze my eggs. And I was like, for what reason? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, your eggs are probably so disgusting. <laughs> My eggs are like smokers. <laughs> <laughs> you got poached eggs for sure. <laughs> They're like we were we're ex drug addicts. <laughs> <laughs> They're sunny side down. Those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> right over hard. <laughs> They're scrambled, all right. <laughs> These are yesterday's sale eggs. <laughs> oh man, definitely not cage free. <laughs> oh man, oh, fried over hard. <laughs> My new album title. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> Just the two eggs and then, no, I don't know. And then like, I don't know. There could be something. Yeah. There's something there. There's something there. I just feel it. I wonder if my cum works. I was watching um, Ballers and like the guy tests his cum, The Rock te- tests like to see the if rock. his cum works. I don't know. That one girl claimed to be pregnant, but so that would prove that my cum works through a condom, which... I don't, I mean, does she, did mm. you ever get proof of that? No. Okay. But I'm going with that. I'm going with an atopical pregnancy that was through a condom. That's what I'm going with. That's how strong my cum is. My mom told me one time that we were all accidents and that we, she used condoms. It doesn't make sense. That was sweet of her. And she smoked. And she's like, I smoked too. I mean, well, they didn't know back then. Yeah. No, they kind they that. knew that you shouldn't smoke while pregnant. Really? I think so. In 80? Yeah, oh, 80. for sure. That it's was not like the a, 19 fucking 20. Yeah, my 30 years before you, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she did smoke, though, when we were in the womb. My, <laughs> she drink? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Maybe. Probably maybe not. I don't know. Who there were some girls at the bar that were drinking that were pregnant. and You could drink red wine, right? You can have one glass yeah. of wine a night, right? Yeah, that's... but they were drinking like vodka crayons. That's crayon. terrible. I know. Really? Did you speak up? I I go, well, it's still early in the pregnancy, right? So this is... You're jealous. You make them doubles. <laughs> You're like, this baby's going to fucking die. Yeah, maybe this callback is not a good idea for me because she's like, well, how do you feel about babies? Do you want to have babies? Because we really want to set you up and like... Go through the whole process of in vitro. Is this the vitro, older like, bachelorette party like, yeah. or bachelorette thing? I was like, how weird what? is that too? Because you thought it, that idea for the divorce show, you were thinking, mm-hmm. and now they're doing it, and mm-hmm. they're asking you to be on it. I know for a major network. Was it with? They want to take your eggs and follow, and there's gonna be a surrogate. Is that what this is? Um, they don't know that I'm barren. Oh. Uh, it's not. They just called me because they liked. Oh. They. How do they find you? I don't know. I don't know. She's been trying to cast me on something for years. Oh. The same casting agent Mm. from L.A. I know. You're finally old enough. I finally made it. (laughs) (laughs) What's your worst casting you've ever done? Not many. (laughs) (laughs) I did one, a Skype casting, and the the lady called me. First of all, she was half an hour late, so I'm just sitting in front of my computer like, like so Mm. rude. And then not like a message going, hey, it's going to be a few minutes late, just sitting there. And then she answers, and I didn't understand where she was. Like, she was just distracted, and she was looking all over the place. And I was like, well, maybe she's just not good at Skype interviews. And then her phone started going off, but it was on her dresser. She was in bed. And then she stood up in the middle of it, and she was in the cat outfit. (laughs) She was just in a T-shirt and underwear. She stood up to get her phone. And I was like, I can see you. (laughs) I can see you. And when she said... And then I was like, I was really, I was like, what the fuck? Because it was like her, all of her ass and side boob in the Skype thing. Oh, and then I was like, I started getting pissed. I was like, what is this? Is this for real? Are you wasting my time? Mm-hmm. And then she was like, just, you can't swear in these. And I was like, you're naked. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm going to go. Thank you. <laughs> what, what role was it for her? I don't even remember. <laughs> it was awful. And that's how you missed out. That was my big opportunity. (laughs) I don't know if you're just supposed to go with the flow, but I was not going with the flow. (laughs) I don't bleed, Josh. (laughs) (laughs) I've never bled. (laughs) I've never bled, Josh. (laughs) I like that. His name is Josh. Josh Goose. Joshy. Two O's, two S's. And then my best friend slept with him and... Bled plenty. She bled. <laughs> Where's he now? 
He is married, has uh, girls. Mm. He's back in our hometown still. Mm. <laughs> he hasn't left. He still looks the same. He likes all my Facebook posts. I'm sure he'll listen to this. What's up, Josh? You had no idea I liked you the whole time. <laughs> and I'll still marry you. <laughs> His wife's very cute. That's why I'll marry him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. What, do you have a first crush? Yeah, I dated Jennifer Hazelwood. I was in fourth grade. She was in sixth grade. Whoa! She was an older girl, and she was the hottest girl in that grade. Like, like it was you. huge. I was the new kid at the school, mm. the new little Jewish boy. Everyone hated me. I was like the most. I was like the cutest kid ever. I was so small and cute. So fucking cute. You were cute. Your TBTs are adorable. Uh, stupid cute. I'm realizing like the m- uglier and fatter I get, the more my TBT likes I get because of the difference between now and then. <laughs> Jesus. I really feel that way. Is that your strategy? We're like almost 40 and we're talking about TBT. Yeah. Is that like a strategy? Yeah, it's a strategy. It's, it's a so really sad. good one. This is why I'm in therapy. <laughs> so, um... I remember she said she liked me, and then I think I, I asked her out. I forgot how I asked her out. I told her, I was like, I don't bleed, Jennifer. No. <laughs> I, 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 I said, uh, I don't I forgot how I asked her out, but I remember this distinctly. I was on the bus. We were in the back row, and everyone was, like, waiting for us to kiss. You know how people remember yeah. kids would, like, be like, when are they going to kiss? And I fucking went to kiss her, and I went straight. <laughs> And I drilled noses. <laughs> I didn't turn my head, and everyone laughed at me. And so, literally, that was like my first bad sexual experience. <laughs> and I was, she's like, "It'll be better the next time." Oh, oh, she's so nice. Yeah, and I don't think there was a next time. I don't know if I kissed her again. And then I dated. Who else did I date? I don't know. It wasn't long after that that I lost all security in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, such a little, like, confident little kid, you know, like, before the divorce, I guess. And then everything changed. And I think before I went to an all-Christian private school. I think those are, like, two very... Because you were so different. And also you were, you were being left alone. Yeah, I was just... So far away from home, going to school. Yeah, I had to go 45 minutes from school. I wasn't from that town. Mm-hmm. I was Jewish. I was very small. But, like, I don't know. When you're at public school, you have different kind of... I feel like public school kids do have different kind of, like, confidence than private school kids. There's, like... Because there's, like, more to lose. Like, you can't... You can't fuck up as much in public school. You, you'll get your ass beat. Like, yeah. there's more kids that will fuck you up. Like, in, in private, private school... school you're coddled. Yeah. Yeah. But, but then again, you would think then, okay, well, maybe you're more free to express yourself because... But, no, we were, like, in uniforms and, like, I yeah, we know. could only change our socks like every like wear colored socks on Fridays, and that was it. <laughs> what weird your, rules? Why do your parents send you to Christian school? Because my mom was convinced that the public schools. No, I know, but there are private schools where Jewish kids go. Not where I lived. Oh. I was thinking about that because I had a lot of time by myself. Uh, there was one Jewish school, but it was like it was far. It was like in Fort Lauderdale. But yeah, go ahead. We only had Catholics around where we lived, and my neighbor gave me. Did you uh-huh. have any Jews in your grade? No, none. None, right? None, like how you said a no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, see really how they had- say it? You see, that's how I got my <laughs> whole life. You're Jew? And it wasn't even like, I know it wasn't like. I'm not being was, mean about no, no, it. No, no, no. I don't think you are. And I don't know if those people were, but there's there's a, a level of like, you're Jewish? Like there's a, there's a tone in people's voice. You're Jewish? Like I never expected you to be a Jew. You know what I mean? Like that's literally what they're saying. You're a Jew, like, <laughs> but you're like normal, or it's like, or you're like good at sports, <laughs> or you know, I don't know. It's like it's weird. Maybe it's they've weird. never had a black and white cookie. Yeah, then they would change they, their they fucking would mind. Change their tone. Yeah, so good. or matzo ball soup, or oh, fucking matzo ball soup a whole is lot the of best. stuff. You know what we should get? Fish dip, fucking white fish on a bagel. Mm. It's the best. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Nothing will be open after this, but so we. I when I uh, turned sixteen, my neighbor gave me his Honda Accord because it was only the dealership was only getting him fifty dollars for it. Well, he gave it to me. <laughs> How once. shitty was this car? It was pretty shitty. <laughs> like he ran into a deer, a pole, and a dog with it. Like, Same day. <laughs> <laughs> it had a the deer, a pole, light and a dog. Was duct taped on. It was mm. bad. 
But it was a stick shift. That thing lasted almost 500,000 miles. Wow. With only mm. a muffler change. That thing was the best. I got it when I was 15. I learned how to drive a stick. That's when I got it. And uh, I would go to my best friend's house, Jessica's, and I'd pull up, different Jessica, and I'd pull up, and she, he wouldn't even let me park on the st- same street, her dad, because it was a Honda. No Jap crap. Oh, man. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. I just remembered that, because I was like, I didn't have to deal with racism when I was growing up, and I was like, oh, my God, no yes, I did. No Jap crap. I for sure did. In fairness, the car is probably disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. <laughs> no, it's fucked up, dude. It's fucked up. I was like, oh, I just skimmed right over that. Because hmm. now I listen to those songs about the internment camps and I just bawl my eyes out. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that sounds just so horrific. There's and that's, songs about that? Yeah, Fort Minor. Oh. He talks about his grandparents were in the internment camps. Oh. Yeah, I was like, that is horrific. And when I started reading about them, they were horrible. Dude. Everything was always moist. Like just ugh. Ugh, moist. I moist. ran into a girl walking the toy poodles that went to my school. Well, I went to my high school today. What? Right outside uh, Stevens Place. And it was funny because like I, I was really good friends with her older brother. Mm-hmm. She was like the youngest of the ones. She's cute. She's youngest. Like, cool. Youngest. <laughs> She's really cool. I don't know. She was like just a cool <laughs> chick. And it was funny. Like I'm walking the dogs. I'm like, oh my god. And this girl remembers when I was like. A virgin prom king. Like, I was, <laughs> and now I'm walking dogs. And so, like, but I don't know. I had a weird, like, yeah, I walk dogs. Like, whatever. Like, yeah. And she was like, I got to see you perform. And it's like, once you let go of that, like, like. Uh, like what pre? And she kept apologizing because she was talking about how she smokes. And she coughed a couple of times. She's like, smokers cough. I know I need to quit. And she was feeling, like, insecure about it. Huh. And then we we talked a little bit about, like, uh, I don't know how it got brought up about something about being Jewish where we were from in Vero. And she's like, yeah. She's like, people don't even realize that they're racist. And like, the one, she was like, I had a three hour talk with our friend, like a mutual friend, about how he had a, a Confederate flag ping pong table. And how he's like, well, that's just the South. That's where we're from. And it's like, first of all, your parents were from Jersey. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and like, <laughs> like, you lived in Florida for maybe like, you know, just your childhood. Mm. And I don't know. It's just funny how like, you know, it's heritage, not, it's not racist. It's heritage. And it's like, well, your heritage had racism. Yeah, so you you're, had slaves. But I don't know. But we like, I don't know. But it is funny. Like, I, we laugh about that together about like the ignorance in our hometown but it's like I still have friends there that I really like and that I know are ignorant and I know I just don't like, I can't today, put up with it like today I'm not going to say names but there's a, a black comic that's going to Vero Beach where I'm from mm-hmm. and I go to my buddy and I was like I was like hey what's that bar whatever and I was like yeah my buddy Justin whatever and he's like he's like a black guy you're going to send him to that bar and I was like Right there, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. and like he didn't mean it like that. He's just like black people don't really go to those bars. And I was like, God damn, that's fucking. We grew up in segregated places where like black people just didn't go to certain places on on the beach. I did a gig in Indiana, and there was the only black person was on the show that was in the room. Really? <laughs> yeah, our host was black, and he was the only. Oh, yeah. We went to the Card- like, the, the f- Cardinals game. We went to now. There was honestly three black people out of like twenty thousand. It's really shocking. It's like... Yeah, I went to the Colts game. Same. I was like, yeah. where are... Where yeah, are, I went to the Tigers game. Uh, yeah, I, went, <laughs> <laughs> I just remember looking around and I'm just like, what is, where is the diversity? Mm. It's, and then you're it's like, very oh, strange. this is how Trump could possibly win. This is how he won. He, this is... There's no uh, diversity. <laughs> and then we were like, yeah, how many times has a black... Growing up, did a black kid sleep over? There's like, oh. Uh, well, I, I mean, that's, I didn't have, there's nobody in my. Yeah, well, you didn't, with. yeah. That uh, wasn't the opportunity. It wasn't that I was excluding. I just, there's mm-hmm. no people. There's uh, my, this one guy from my high school, I pulled up behind, was following him, and he had a confet. I'm from Michigan, mm-hmm. <laughs> northern, way up there. And he had a Confederate flag in the back of his truck window. And I saw him, and I followed him, and I got out, and I was like, what the fuck? You're from Rockford, Michigan, the most pretentious town mm-hmm. in all, like... When was this? Recently? Like, six years ago. Oh. And he was like, hey! And I was like, no. Mm. No, absolutely not. I'm not talking yeah. to you. I want you to take that down. 
I was like, that's so ridiculous. Yeah. You're from the richest area in the state. But growing up, I didn't care about the Confederate flag. It wasn't even like, you didn't even think about it. But I went, we saw it a lot. Like, my buddy had the same thing on the back of his truck. You didn't get offended when you saw it? Mm. I think of it like the swastika kind of. I know. I didn't think of it then. I don't know. You just don't think about it. It's weird. You don't get like a hateful energy from it? I mean, now I get it. But not back then. You just you just don't know, man. Yeah, I guess you just you, you just live with it. with it. You just grow up with it, and you just. Oh, it's sad. It is sad. Well, I mean, what ca- what what can you do now? Well, what's funny is like these people, the same people that are like, "Well, we ain't racist," and it's like, "Yeah, but the only black guy you know cleans your boat," <laughs> you know, and it's just like that's literally you know, and like you have like a weird nickname for him, and like. I, I forgot what the nickname was. But. Even the weird things that my mom used to say when I used to go and visit her, like she would say, um, "Well, we have a we have a nice black lady in our Republican group." I was like, "Mom, even you saying that?" Yeah, I'm like, "It's just everyone's just a person. Mm-hmm. Everyone's just people. So no. just you don't have to separate her out and say, oh, she's nice.' Oh yeah, well, what about what about Barb? Is she nice? Mm-hmm. What about Carol? Is she nice? Yeah, it's really I I get so frustrated about that." But then with the public school, though, like I've heard stories from my buddy where black kids would beat up white kids a lot and they had to be in fear of the black kids. Like, and that just is a truth. Like, he would be scared to walk down the hallway. So then you're afraid of, like, so maybe there's like, you know, 10 black kids that are like bullies. And so then you deal with that experience as a kid and then, then you put that on every black person. And yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'm afraid to walk down in my neighborhood, and it is all well. People do. I mean, get it's just killed. like groups of yeah, they get killed. It's funny and it's though, also like, like groups of dudes. And I, <laughs> me as a female, I have no matter what yeah. race you are, well, yeah. it's I have to be nervous. But it is funny, like because it's like at what point does like ignorance, like or like being like not wanting to be offensive, <laughs> like. Yeah, well, I'll walk through the hood. Like, they're not going to hurt me. Like, dude, you guys are racist. And then, <laughs> then you, like, get stabbed, and you're, like, you're like bleeding. You're, like, whatever. Like, it was a dull knife. Like, I'm sure the guy still, like, means well. Like, you guys are racist. And he's, like, cuts your throat, and he's, like, uh, I'm bleeding. But, like, you guys are, like, you are racist. Like, don't, like, judge him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at what point? It reminds me of Monty Python when they keep cutting off the legs, you know? I was, one time, these two bar patrons stayed far too long and they lived like very close and they're like oh we'll just uber pool home and i was like yeah it's fine i don't care and uh they got, we were driving through not a good area i mean and it was not where a was good this? time where was it it was in uh east new york okay which is brooklyn which is and very you were bartending high. i was bartending two, at dream and two and two bar patrons stayed far they were like Oh, they live friends, by you. And they live by me. Okay. But then they were so high on everything and yeah. they were drinking. So they were like doped up and drinking. And they were like, let's just experience life, man. I could hear them in the back of the car. So me and the driver, the driver is like just regular people. And he goes, he was, I was looking at him and I was like, don't get out of the car. And I could hear him going, let's just get out of the car and walk it home. I was like, do not get out of the car. <laughs> they were like, walking yeah, home from just, where? From your place? We, from no, we we're going through East New York, which is the highest murder. Yeah, but why would they want? They just wanted to get out. They just wanted to get a, an experience of life. You know, like they just they were high. They, just, they were so ready to go. So you got an Uber pool. We together. got an Uber pool. Okay, and, and then, then we get and to, while you're driving, I can hear they them by you conspiring going, oh, to I get, get out, out of the out car here and just like and live just, it. Yeah, and they're like, "How many miles is it?" So they started googling. It's like three miles. And I was like, "Just stay in the car. Just get all the way home. You weird. can wander around the roof." And then they both get out, and we go another avenue. I go, "They're gonna die." And the Uber driver was just started laughing. He's like, "Yeah, they're gonna die." <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, these two dudes from Connecticut. I was like, "Just stay the fuck in the car, you fucking idiots!" Whoa, you're racist. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm just not. I'm dumb. not right. Yeah, it's like it's just probability. Yeah, if there's high crime, yeah, you don't get out in that area. Yeah, yeah. It was, they were wearing like the most ridiculous dream hotel outfits ever. And I was like, oh, God, your well, Valentino f- sneakers are going to get stolen in a second. Yeah, I mean, I feel like people that are like, you hear like a lot of the SJWs that are like, that have been sheltered and never have dealt with like situations like that. Then then they're like, how could you possibly like 
judge someone. And it's like, well, there are bad people. There is just bad people. I don't know. People. There's bad people. No, I'm not saying that there's bad on both sides because if you're a neo Nazi, you should burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> and none of it. Yeah. But I'm just saying it's like you can still be open minded to shit. You don't have to. Yeah, I feel like you were, for the circumstances that you were raised in, you're, I like how open and not racist you are. And I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm surprised as that well, I didn't grow up racist. <laughs> yeah. I am very surprised. I'm I'm, like, I still have, I know, I, I still have things that like, I don't mean for it, but it's like, it's like fucking just ignorance that you just grow up with where you like, you talk to a black person and like, Either a, I'll fucking talk like, I'll talk more like slick, like because yeah, I but think that's that just that's a what salesperson in you. Yeah, I'll just I'll just mimic, or I'll like. This sounds bad, but I remember like meeting some black people in New York, and they were just so fucking smart and like and like like just well read and like whatever, and it like kind of stepped me. Yeah, changed my perspective. I don't know. I uh, I mean, in the Bible, it says that we were all started out as one race, so I always learn that like right like we had to do bible study mm -hmm. from every single day and so i was like well the lord the lord said we were all one race anyway so what are, what are we talking about and i don't bleed josh <laughs> i don't bleed josh <laughs> josh yeah i don't bleed all right should we should we wrap her up wrap her up wrap, wrap up the con rod dogging baby <laughs> right? all right you can find me at andrew t collin on instagram and twitter maybe we should look at the camera more maybe we should fuck the camera Oh, hey, camera. <laughs> what are you doing later? <laughs> you can't blah, 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 get blah. fucked any other way. <laughs> oh, oh, coming in with a light oh, Thank you, God. Uh, okay, yep, and you can follow me at Mar America. Uh, thanks so much for... Huh? Yeah, just sit the fuck so down. you leaving so fast? Fucking out of here. <laughs> what the fuck's the matter with you? You better go to therapy. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. This is from God. I don't know what's wrong.